everyone, welcome back to another week of Square Food Meal Kits. This week's recipe is some baked apples and we're going to serve that with a delicious um, silky custard. Um, so I'll just talk you through the ingredients and then I'll show you how to make it. So we're going to be using brownie apples uh, today. So these are really nicely in season, quite sour, um, which is why you need to add a sort of nice filling to counterbalance the sourness. We've got um, the zest of an orange, the zest of a lemon. We've got some ground cinnamon, two tablespoons of some brown sugar, nice soft brown sugar, two tablespoons of some flaked almonds, 75 grams of raisins, and then four tablespoons of butter. So the hardest part about this recipe really is just preparing the apples and once you've done that it's super straightforward. So you might need a, an adult's help just to do this first part and then after that it's all down to you and you can do it all yourselves. If you're confident enough to give it a go do try it um, but just be a bit safe because we are going to be using a knife. So uh, the apple, we've got the core here which we don't want. If you've got an apple corer you can obviously just pop that through the middle of the apple and take out the core and then you've got that lovely sort of hole to fill it with. If you don't have an apple corer, this is the way I would do it. So I would use a table knife and I'm just going to cut down all the way to the bottom and then sort of move the knife around. So you're going to create sort of a square. So the next cut, I'm gonna twist the apple and cut straight down again. And then I'm gonna rotate the apple, go all the way to the bottom and then the last one to create that square shape is that. And then hopefully we should just be able to pop that out. If it's difficult, you can just go around the edges of the apple as well. I can do that again. So you want to do it on both sides to get that sort of square shape. So. Now that we've done that, can you see the apple's just gonna come um, out like that? You might need to give it a twist and sh pop your thumb in there just to push it out. And then you're left with just that nice sort of hole so you can see through it. And um, we're gonna do that to all of the apples. And then you're also going to run a sort of little circle just around the middle of the apple. And that's just gonna help it not explode. So I have all four of my apples prepared now. So I'm just going to move on to the filling and then we're going to stuff those into the apple. So into your butter, just make sure it's nice and soft. You want to sort of just mash that a little bit. We're going to pop in the brown sugar, the zest of the orange and the lemon, the raisins, and then most of the almonds, but just leave a few back because we're going to scatter a few on the top a bit later. So I'm just going to leave a little pile like that for the end and then the rest can go in. And then lastly, a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm going to bring this all together. And then at this stage, you want to get your oven preheating to 180 degrees as well. And then once this is all mixed, we can stuff it in the apples. So this is a really nice alternative to sort of a crumble if you don't want that sort of crumbly topping. Um, it's quite nice to have a sort of baked fruit dish as a, another wintry, autumny pudding. So that's looking lovely. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to rub the apples with any sort of leftover bits just so that you get all of that flavour around the apples as well. And then with the leftover almonds, I'm just going to pop that in the rest of the... There's only a little bit of sort of sauce left. So I'm just gonna add that into there just to get it all covered. And then we can just sprinkle a few bits on the top of each apple. And then they're gonna go in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out. So whilst the apples are baking, we're gonna make some custard now. So um, the ingredients for custard, quite simple. We've got 300 millilitres of whole milk in here. And in there, I've got two teaspoons of some vanilla. You can obviously use a whole vanilla pod, but they're quite expensive. So just a, a vanilla bean paste or leave it out if you really can't um, get your hands on it. Then in here, we've got um, one and a half tablespoons of caster sugar and half a tablespoon of some corn flour. The corn flour is going to help thicken it. Um, and then the main ingredient really is 
some eggs. We've got three eggs and we just need the egg yolks for this. So I'll just remind you how to separate um, the eggs. So take your eggs out of your bowl, tap so you've got a nice big hole, then you're going to put your thumbs in the egg, twist it round so it's upright like this, lift off the lid and then just catch the yolk and you can pass it back and forth between the shells until you've just got the yolk. So don't throw away the whites, pop it in a freezer bag and keep it um, to make meringues um, or add it into cakes because they're really, really, really good. So you don't want to waste them and they freeze really nicely. So now that we've got all of our ingredients for the custard ready, we've got the milk and the vanilla and then the egg yolks, the corn flour and the sugar. We're going to just gently warm the milk um, until it comes to what's called scalding temperature, which means where the steam just starts to come off the milk. And if you put your little finger in, it's just a little bit too hot to touch um, any more than that. And it has uh, the chance of scrambling the egg. So we do have to be careful of this. So I'm going to get that on the heat. And then whilst that's happening, we're going to whisk up the egg yolks and the other ingredients. So whilst you're waiting for your milk to warm, you just want to um, give the eggs and the sugar and the corn flour a good stir up. So I don't know if you can see that, but the steam is just starting to come off um, the milk. And if I put my little finger in there, it's just a little bit too hot to touch. So what we're going to do now, and again, you might need a grown up to help you with this, is one of you needs to stir or whisk and then the other needs to pour the hot milk. If you don't stir, what's going to happen is that the eggs might scramble. We don't want that. So all of that mixture goes in. You want to give it a little mix in there. And then we're going to just pop that back into the saucepan and we're going to carry cooking that in the saucepan. So I've got this on quite a gentle heat and if you can see that, we're just going to keep this moving for as long as it takes to thicken up. So I expect it to take anywhere between five to ten minutes to make the custard. So I've been doing this for about I reckon six minutes, seven minutes now, and it's just starting to thicken up. So you really, really do have to have some patience with this and never give up, okay? Keep stirring, because otherwise you'll, all your hard work will come to nothing. So keep going, keep making sure you go right round the pan, back and forward, back and forward, and then it will suddenly thicken up really nicely and ready to go over your apples. So you can tell when a custard is done, when it sort of coats the back of the spoon like that. And if I just hold that there and you put a sort of line in the middle of your spoon like that, and if it sort of holds its shape, then you know that it's done. So the lovely baked apples are ready. They've got their own sort of caramel sauce that's sort of left over in the saucepan. So I'm just gonna serve one up just to show you what it's gonna be like. You wanna make sure you get some of that sort of caramelliness. Can you serve that lovely, drizzle that over the top? And then finish it off with our silky smooth custard. Look at that. Is there a better pudding for autumn?